And he looked around and said, I didn't do it. And everybody busted out laughing. So for the next, like, six months in that episode, everybody expected him to just say, I didn't do it, the same way he did then. And it turned into a whole marketing campaign, and he had, like, merchandise and stuff. And he got so sick of just saying that that he was just done. He was like, I don't want to be this person anymore. I'm tired of saying the same thing every day. I'm like, yep, I can relate with that. <laughs> Bye, Supercat. Have a good night. Yeah, Jay, we got some good stuff here, my friend. This, this playlist is a, is a favorite of many. We usually feature it while we're playing Minecraft. While I'm digging a hole. That way you guys can, can do what they say, vibe. You can vibe to the jams while we're, we're digging a hole and chatting. I'm not breaking any pickaxes. Uh, peeps, we're building, we're digging a hole for a creeper farm, my friend. I, I want to get down, I want to get this quadrant down to level 30 today. So we're, we're going to be going like hard in the paint. Vibing to this bop of a jam while you're dripping. <laughs> this song is bussing, Entropy. No, Grandpa, don't use those words. Only cool kids say things like that. Something like that, Pete. I have a design already in mind. Someone asked me who the YouTuber was, but there was like six videos of the same build. So I don't know who the OG person who was that came up with it, but we already got a build in mind. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I always take a build on the internet and tweak it just enough to where it's, it's, you know, mine, but I still give credit where it's due. But I don't think anybody has a, a credit for this. I'll have to do some research on it. Gotta use all the new fame dangled words. Yep, all the ones that you hear off of the ticker talk entropy. Shulkercraft's crazy. Shulkercraft does a good job. I, I like his tutorials. I don't like some of his jump cuts that he does. Because he'll be in the middle of a complex build and cut to like a different part of it. And you don't know where he's at anymore. You kind of got to pause the video and like catch back up where he's at. And look around your build to match it up. But yeah, he's not bad. But I do appreciate that he builds everything in like survival and not in creative where he's floating around putting random blocks of glass and having an infinite bucket of water and those kind of tutorials aggravate me Fancy redstone machines? Yeah, right? Those can get pretty complex too, man. I don't give out the name, the name of my playlist, Jay. It's called Super Secret Taradra Playlist that he plays during stream. Because if he gave it out, people would stop watching him. Smile. That's what it's called. That's the name of it. Go look it up. You're welcome. Playlist stays in the Disney vault. No, 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 no. 
there's no Disney vault here, but it does stay in my. It does. It, it's it's on a need to know basis, and right now you don't need to know. But feel free to Shazam all the music and make your own playlist out of it. I wish I could thumb down some of the songs in this list because some of them are kind of annoying and I don't like them, but got to take the good with the bad when you're listening to the whole thing. Shazam still a thing? Oh yeah. I know I know quite a few of them, a few of them use them in here. You love that movie. With Sinbad as a genie, right? Thank you, Stabby. I appreciate it, bud. You guys don't have to watch any of the content. I'm just trying to make up what I need for monetization. That way I can start throwing some stuff on it. Because I meet all the guidelines. There's like, you know, it's all, you know, PG-13 content. There's not a lot of gross stuff in it. It's, what I, it's mainly what I put on Twitch, just on YouTube. <laughs> there's no music, so there's no copyright. Gross stuff? Yeah, like I'm not telling people to like do things to my orifices, rarest. Entropy? I You'd be surprised, my friend. <laughs> Professor! He does, he does say that a lot. But you can still monetize your videos, so you're good. I wasn't my primarily talking about you, but very on brand for Puff. I don't know who Puff is. Is he a magic dragon? Is he Puff's brother? Do I do my own videos? I don't do the VOD breaking up with the VODs. I've got Oh My M to do that for me. But all the other actual content, like the clip videos and like um, my my city's tutorials and things, I do all that stuff myself. Yeah. When are you streaming cities again? You don't know? Well, that's lame. Hey, come here. I need your help. Hey, you, come here. Come here. Stand right there. Thanks. You didn't do much. Well, I, I know that, William. <laughs> yeah, poof. I had that early on, too, my friend. It's funny. A lot of people from your neck of the woods don't come by my neck of the woods and hang out because, quote, they can't say the F word in here. They've, they've told me that. They can't curse in my chat, so they don't want to be here. Good job, Rarish. You're such a rebel, my friend.
Also, um, who is it? You can say shit in here. Um, Abort Alex <laughs> carried over his his hatred of me from from caffeine into Twitch and said all kinds of stuff about me to people. So that was fun too. Oh no, Entropy. I curse like a sailor in real life too, my friend. I can keep up with the best of them. I feel I filter myself heavily for Twitch. But besides doing that, I'm the same person here that I am in real life. That's why sometimes I get aggravated a little more than I should, because I can't say what I want to say to somebody who's being a a turd in my chat because I have to formulate the right terminology in order to maintain the, the status quo that I have created for my channel. Well, I mean, and, and so entropy, it's funny that you say that there was a kid in here one time who came in and, and, and he wasn't from any other community. He was just a random that came in. And he said something in all caps with the F word in it. And I deleted it. And I was like, hey, man, it's PG-13. Keep your F words down to a minimum. And he was like, well, I have to type them. And I was like, why do you have to type them? He said, because I say them in, in real life. I was like, yeah, I, I say it too, and I don't type it. I said, I said, there's a very powerful tool between your mind and the keyboard. Or, uh, yeah, like, what you say is different than what you're thinking and what you're typing. You don't have to type it. And he was like, well, I do. So I can't be here. Bye. And that's another thing I don't like either. When 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 someone audibly announces that they're exiting my channel, I, I don't care. Go away. Does it matter that you have to tell everybody that you're doing it? <laughs> don't let the door hit your ass on the way out. Hi, Hafnium. How are you? Possibly an entire conversation. Maybe rare if you're lucky. What a goober. I know, right? You're not leaving Tarandra? Good. Because you owe me child support. I knew I had to show up early to see me. Why is that? Oh, rarest. I think you're talking to me. So, rarest, if you haven't seen an ad yet, then you're probably fine. I... I told you they probably unflagged you as a bot. When you when you reached out, they probably unflagged you because you're an actual human account. I swear that's what it was. What have you missed? Nothing happening. The rarest is just being rarest. This is typical rarest Iowa. Also, were you not working today, Hafnium? Did we have a Mari moment? No. Wait, what rarest? Okay, so you're still at school? 
I was just making sure you're okay. Sorry I bothered you with my concern. Oh, bye Hafnium, have fun. She was on her smoke break. Outside hitting her palm malls. I'm sorry. Virginia Slims. You could never. <laughs> Paul Malls are, are a rough cigarette. They are. They are rough. Wait, what? You're going to be patient with me, big mouth? Sorry, what? The smoke is relaxing? Eh, it's debatable, I guess. Rare is, do you smoke? You've probably bought enough to get stock for your mom? What's that got to do with her saying you got to be patient with her? Oh, I got you, Rarus. Oh, I got you. Carloberg? No, there's a there's a talk show in the States called Mari Povich. He does he does a lot of paternity tests. It's all a bunch of staged content in order to get views. I slept with thirteen men. One of them gotta be my baby's daddy. And like all thirteen of them aren't, and she starts freaking out and crying all the time. It's ninety percent fake. There ain't no way I'm the father of this kid. He don't even look just like me. He also does like the lie detector stuff. The lie detector test determined that that was a lie. Yeah, all day daytime US TV, yeah. No, Carlo Berg wouldn't know who that was. Wasn't he married to, like, Connie Chung? A long time ago, Connie Chung was an old news reporter. Bye, half -Nium. What's up, Carlo Bird? Okay. What do you mean, Carlo? Entropy, it was probably real in the beginning, but they can't have that much content to keep going. Just like Jerry Springer. Jerry Springer's all staged also. Oh, okay, Carlo. What 
Well, Connie wasn't on daytime TV shows. She was she was like a nightline reporter or an anchor or something like that. I don't I don't remember her exact role. She might even still do news. I just don't know. I don't watch news anymore. Yeah, William Media. And you're also going to get uh, people that just make up shit just to get on TV to entropy. And they're like, okay, well, if you're willing to make it up, let's also add this to the mix. All right, all right I'll do that. So let's see. You're a crack whore and you're a hobo. Oh, we can do that. Let's go. You've been with hundreds of men and don't know who the father of your kid is. Yeah, I can do that. I thought it was catch, Entropy. Not cash. And that's from Dr. Phil. Well, I mean, if he's typing it exactly how she said it, it would be D-A-T, not T-H-A-T, Rarus. Her made up accent, yeah. You're just memeing the meme, I gotcha. She's a rapper now? Great, good for her. She used she used the meme fame fame to her advantage. Good for her. your memes be dreams or cash in on them as much as possible did you know that the um overly obsessive girlfriend or the obsessively attractive girlfriend or whatever that that she actually turned her meme into an F, into an nft it's like one of the most valuable nfts right now Overly attracted, obsessively attracted girlfriend. That's what it is. It's O A G, whatever the acronym was. Obsessively attractive girlfriend, attracted. But yeah, she she cashed in on her stuff as soon as she could. in those early memes, yep. And Seagull, you can ask that about anything nowadays, my friends. Is crypto real? When the power goes out, they're pointless, right? Rarest, it's just another cash grab. Just like crypto. They're starting to go hand in hand now. I think they meant in a more permanent sense, Carlo, but sure.
Carlo. I agree. Siegel, how are you doing, buddy? Welcome in. Just start like taking a nap <laughs> or sleeping in or something i don't know Yeah, entropy. There's always going to be holes. There's always going to be a, a, a glaring problem with every kind of cash grab and some kind of, of security risk and issue that probably always comes up and happens. And Carlo, I mean... Yeah. There's a there's a lot of stories about stuff like that, Carlo. It goes into rule number one territory. We're skirting a line here, guys. Carlo Berg, I here's the thing about about my rules and why I have them. I I understand what you're trying to say and I get it, but you have to think about the unknown. If we start talking about stuff like that, someone's gonna come out of left field and say something off the wall and stupid. <laughs> 